We are here at the 23rd annual U.S. Sumo Open at the Walter Pyramid in Long Beach, California. The fans gather, filling the pyramid with over 4,000 people, and the story of the day was Mende. He was 14-0 undefeated last year in 2022, and he went 13-0 this year for a perfect record. Look at the technique against the U.S. champion there. Mende has been dominant, 27 wins and no losses in two years of competition at the U.S. Sumo Open. Getting some advice there from Yama. Mende made it look easy. Going against some opponents who are over 400 pounds, even though he himself was barely 300 pounds. Another opponent here from Egypt, over 400 pounds. And Mende with a great pivot. You can see the acrobatics, and the gymnastic movements by Mende. Here he's going against an opponent who is closer to 500 pounds than 400. Gilberto, one of the top U.S. contenders, number two in the United States. And Mende has him at a standstill. You can see the really good technique by Mende. Despite the size discrepancy, Mende knows how to get a better position. Tucks his head in. And he does great lateral movement in either direction, forcing his opponent back. Gilberto hanging in there. Imagine Mende doing 13 matches like this in a single day. That is pretty grueling for someone who's undersized compared to most of his opponents. Gilberto with a good underhand grip there, trying to nullify Mende's position. And here's the attack by Mende, swiveling from side to side. Going forward, little leg behind Gilberto's, and he gets the victory. Now Gilberto's younger brother, Angel, going against Mende. False start. There they go. And again, look at the move by Mende, the spin move and the acrobatics at the end. So Mende, great dexterity, he takes a head-on attack and he turns his opponent around. Here is one of the best Egyptian competitors, Abdelhaman goes down, and the current U.S. heavyweight and openweight champion, Mark, gets spun around by Mende as well. And Mende had a hurt right hand. He's using basically his left hand only to spin Mark down and get that victory and the heavyweight title. Mende also made it look easy against several opponents in the open weight. Really doesn't look like there's any risk to him in these matches. He gets a good position, a good grip, and just toying with opponents. And a crowd pleaser there, throwing his opponent to the ground. And here he is again against the more than 400 pound foe, and Mende gets it done. Great footwork against guys who are really strong and quick off the line. And here in the final match in the open weight, he defeats the light heavyweight contender, Eric. You can see Eric comes out really fast. Mende blocks the attack, gets underneath, and wins in a matter of two seconds or less. So heavyweight and open weight champion at the USM Open for two years in a row. That's Mende. And there was a lot of drama in the men's lightweight division as well. Many of the semi-finalists from last year continued in the medal rounds this year. And there's Edebo from Hungary taking down Hatna from Mongolia. Last year, Edebo got second and Hatna got third. And this year, the third place match is the same as last year. Hatna versus Joe. Big victory there for Joe, getting a medal for the first time at the U.S. Sumo Open. And in the final match of the U.S. Sumo Open, Edebo versus Gabe. Good hit by Edebo, constantly moving here, pivots to the side and takes Gabe down in a matter of seconds. What a dramatic finish to the men's lightweight division. Edebo, silver last year, gets gold in 2023. And the men's middleweight division was absolutely stacked. Here's one of the top contenders, Takeshi from Japan. He has won the US from Open in both the middleweight and the openweight divisions in the past looking for a medal here in the middleweight. He made quick work of many of his opponents, but his toughest matchup came against Usupbayar from Mongolia in the semifinals. Takeshi on the left in the maroon, Usupbayar now moving to the left in the white. They're both 220 pounds. Takeshi about eight inches shorter though. Usupbayar trained in Japan, so they both have that great Japanese sumo pedigree, although he comes from Mongolia. And Asupoyar in the white has won many, many medals at the world level in the world championships, the world games, the world combat games. Absolutely dominant on the world stage. And Takeshi 
has been dominant in so many tournaments as well, in Japan and in the U.S. You can see Takeshi going for that outside grip. Usukbayar with only one hand on the belt. Takeshi has both on the belt, but Usukbayar gets a double outside grip here. Not very advantageous, but he manages to use leverage in his whole body to force Takeshi down and gets the win going on to the finals. And Usukbayar going in the finals now against Maxim from Russia. Just like Usukbayar, Maxim from Russia on the left has numerous medals at the world level, at the world championships and continental championships as well. These guys are definitely not your typical sumo image. They're both very tall and lanky. And they demonstrate, though, the incredible technique involved in sumo. They're jockeying for position here. And there's a spin, very dramatic. It looked like Usukbayar executed the spin, but in the air, Maxim countered. And Usukbayar's back seemed to go down first, and the referee calls it for Maxim. But it looks like Usukbayar initiated the throw, so it's very close. And Yama, the head judge there, reviewing the match on the video, discussing it with the other judges. And after review, it's determined by Yama that they will do one more match. It'll be a rematch to determine the actual winner of the men's middleweight finals. And immediately, Usukbayar on the outside again. Maxime, both hands inside, deep grips on the back of Usukbayar's belt. But there is a leg trip, an inside leg trip. Uchigake by Usukbayar. And look at the strength off of one leg, pushing up and knocking Maxime backward and out of the ring. Incredible victory for the Mongolian. And the light heavyweight field was also amazing. Eric on the left, the US champion, Fatih on the right from Egypt. And Eric gets the quick victory in the preliminary rounds. They both went on to win all their other matches. Fatih meeting Eric in the final match in the light heavyweight. Fatih stops Eric's attack against underneath. And he gets a victory at the edge of the ring there. So Eric gets a silver medal. Gold medal goes to Fatih. A lot of Egyptians have won the gold medal here in recent years. And Fatih celebrating as Eric gets the silver and bronze goes to Danny in the light heavyweight. And now on to the men's heavyweight. There were a dozen contenders from many countries, and here are the quarter finalists. Now on the left here we see Abdel Rahman from Egypt, and his technique was impressive throughout the tournament. He managed to get the bronze medal. You can see how he gets his head inside, clamps down on the belt, and just pushes the opponents backward using his head and his leg strength. Really great display of that technique throughout the whole tournament by Abdel Rahman. He gets the job done there. Now Mark on the left lost a match early. He's the US champion, but he fought his way back into contention. Great technique throughout like that, and he made it into the final match, the gold medal match against Mende. Mende on the left, definitely a lot smaller, but he has a great pivot here locks up Mark's right arm and flips him out at the edge of the ring. So Mende, with just incredible technique, Mark should be proud to get a silver medal at his first U.S. Sumo Open. There we see the medalists, Mende with gold, Mark with silver, and Abdelrahman with bronze. Definitely impressive work again by Mende, but he's also going for it in the open weight here. And we move on now to the open weight competition, where wrestlers of all sizes compete against each other and there were quite a few upsets where smaller guys took down their larger opponents. On the right is the lightweight champion Edebo and he takes down the renowned Japanese middleweight Takeshi at the edge of the ring with a spin move. And look at that leg trip by Edebo for the victory. He moves on in the competition. This was one of many upsets throughout the day. Moving on to the semifinals. On the left is Mende going against Danny who he trains with in LA. And Mende makes quick work of him. The other semifinal match featured Usukbar from Mongolia, the middleweight champion, against the light heavyweight silver medalist Eric. And Eric gets the win, moving on to the finals. In the third place match, Danny on the left going against Usukbar. And Usukbar, again, great leg strength and technique. He gets the bronze medal. And finally, the gold medal match, Mende takes the hit from Eric and forces him back. Mende with the victory. He blocked Eric's attack from the start. And within a second or so, he took Eric down. And there are your gold and silver medalists hugging it out. Mende with gold, Eric with silver in the open weight division. What a day it's been as the medals go to Mende, Eric, and Usupayar. And the women's competition featured some fierce rivalries as well as the two Mongolians, Muntetseg and Zaya, beat all of the Americans throughout the entire day without a single loss until they fought each other. And Muntetseg beat Zaya and vice versa in the heavyweight and open weight respectively. 
Kellyanne posed the greatest challenge for the Mongolians. Here she is against Zaya, hanging in there, holding her own for quite a while. Zaya forcing her back and Kellyanne countering. They're looking for a better position. Look at the footwork there as they try to maintain their balance. Staying low, Kellyanne driving again, and there is the twist at the edge by Zaya, who gets the win. And there's Muntzegzeg also against Kellyanne, and makes quick work of her in that match. And there are the medalists, Kellyanne, Muntzegzeg, and Zaya got medals in both the heavyweight and the openweight. Now, among the many cool stories at the USM Open in 2023 was Kelly Knighting versus his son Eli, about 35-year age differential. Kelly on the right, 470 pounds. Eli, 179 pounds, so almost a 300-pound weight differential. Eli on the left, obviously, tries to fight his way inside, gets a belt grip. Kelly is on the defensive here. Eli is pushing him from below, and he gets the job done. He beats his father, who is almost 300 pounds heavier. Kelly, a legend himself, winning many medals in the USM Open over the years. And here is another interesting matchup. Ruslan on the left from Russia versus Danny on the right from the U.S. And last year, if you recall, Danny suffered a concussion being tossed off the stage, hitting his head on the ground. But he's made a recovery and he's come back this year and a great thrusting attack against Ruslan. One of the better matches of the day. He's at the edge of the ring, sidesteps, and Ruslan goes down. So to beat a guy who's medal at the USM Open is a big feat. And here is Danny's son going against Yama. Danny's son, Aiden, actually trains with Yama. And Yama's almost 600 pounds. Aiden himself is about 250 pounds at 14 years of age. It's important to get the kids trained early. Hopeful sumo dominance of the U.S. in the future. And here's Aiden using the technique he's learned from Yama against Yama, getting the head inside, getting a good belt grip and pushing with the legs. Yama giving some resistance, and the crowd goes wild as Aiden gets the win. Another one of Yama's students is Ikki from Japan. He's only about 10 years old and about 100 pounds, so 100 pounds versus 600 pounds, and everyone loved this matchup. Ikki charges forward repeatedly, doesn't give up as Yama pushes him back every time. And look at the side move there by Iki getting to the side and throwing Yama down. And that's got to be a great highlight for anyone attending the U.S. Sumo Open. And the fans are loving it. Aiden and Iki as well. Yama showed up. Not only was he head judge, but he did some fan-pleasing events, throwing out some souvenirs and signing autographs of his new book, Yamamoto Sumo Secrets. So once again, an incredible series of matches at the 23rd annual U.S. Sumo Open. Fans from all over the world attended. And the story of the day, though, was Mende, 13-0 after last year's 14-0. 27 wins in a row. Can he keep the streak alive in 2024?